How you doing? And welcome to another Cigar Assessor Cigar Video Review here at Genuine Cigars. 24250 Town Center Drive in the beautiful city of Valencia. And today I have the pleasure of smoking and reviewing this beautiful LFD Reserva Especial with an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, Dominican binder, and Dominican filler. I've smoked quite a few of these and I really enjoy them. It's a really nice Connecticut cigar. It has a very nice barnyardy farm type of smell. Like manure, dog, you know, smells really nice though. A sweet fig smell from the foot. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful experience. So let's get to work on it. Right, right. I'm going to cut it with this Zycar XI1 cutter, two tone with black blades. So let's get this thing going with a little bit of a remember, just scalp it. Don't overcut the cigar because so I'll take a little bit off. Where are you, camera? On this side. Okay, that's all you want to take off and then test it. Nice open draw. And we're gonna use the matching Zycar cutter, lighter, with the cutter. This is the ter Terissimo. Terissimo, I think. It's a double dual flame lighter. And we're gonna just, you know, get the cherry going. You don't wanna get the flame too high on there. Very nice open draw. Nutty cedar. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, and I was drinking this peach beautiful holiday latte. Uh, I prefer peach over Starbucks for many reasons. And the latest is that I went into a Starbucks with my other glasses, which were my Ray-Bans honey color frames made in Italy. I really like those frames. And I put them down at the Starbucks in the Valencia Mall, turned around to get my coffee, because I was looking at something. And I put, the, I put the, the sunglasses down, you know, figure what the hell. I'm in a mall in a pretty rich neighborhood. I put the sunglasses down, looking at something. They go, my coffee's ready. I go get my coffee, I come back, bam. That's how quick they stole them. $200 sunglasses, gone. So then I had to go to the eye doctor and get prescriptions and get new sunglasses. So I got some Persols. However, I'm still very angry about it. And I said, up until I got these yesterday, I was walking in the sun and I just was saying, every time the sun's burning my face, I think about that MFR who stole my sunglasses. Nice, full, creamy smoke. I'm glad to have been doing a cigar review again for you guys. I'm here at Genuine Cigars where I work. Uh, great selection. We got a lot of LFD cigars here. If you're an LFD fan, we got a lot of Davidoff, Padron, uh, Fuente, Opus X. We have Avo. We have Oliva. We have um, uh, Ashton. We have... Christoph, we got so many different brands here. You gotta come on down and check it out. And back of me, we have the Padrones and the Opus X and the Fuente. And then on this side, we have other stuff. But beautiful shop up here in Valencia. Very smooth cigar. You know, what are you gonna do? So this is the beautiful cutter. 
We sell Zycar here. We sell Prometheus. We sell Calibri. We sell SD DuPont. And many other lighters and cutters. So you gotta come check us out. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. It's always been crazy up here in, in, in California. I mean, uh, a week or so ago, I was near the Getty fires, where that's where I live, and we got evacuated, but we were on the line, so I didn't go anywhere. I didn't want to uproot everybody in my house, you know? Not, we were, we were close, but not that close. I would, is it close? It's close by. You got the stuff? I got the stuff. You got it here? I got it close by. Nice creamy smoke. So the the circus of impeachment is still going on in the news. You know, uh, I don't know. Last time we talked, uh, Jeffrey Epstein was committed suicide. Yeah, really. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. He did. Yeah, it was disgusting. And there had nobody watching that man when he committed suicide. Yeah, okay. And uh, they continue with this, these people that you hate the president. You don't have to like him. You know, you don't have to like the man. I'm not saying he's a great guy, but come on, man. I just pulled up an article today from 2017, two weeks after he was uh, he started, he was sworn in. And they're already talking impeachment. I mean, and they couldn't get him with the Comey. They couldn't get him with the strip, with the porn star. They couldn't get him with the Mueller. Now they're trying this other stuff because he was investigating uh, Biden's son, I guess. You know, everybody wants to investigate until it's their guy getting investigated. Then it's oh, it's not fair. It's not fair. This man has been going through three years of investigations. And nothing. Nothing. Unless you are biased and you don't like them, then you can free every word. You can look at it and go, oh, see that word right there? That means he's guilty. And that word means he's guilty. You know, the, you can you can be a fortune teller and, uh, and try to understand what's going on in the man's head. I don't pretend to. I'm like, if you want, get a viable candidate to beat him in 2020. Instead of putting the country through this bullshit. What are you going to know? What are you going to know? They don't have a viable candidate because they're all crazier than Trump on that side. They say Trump is crazy. These people on the other side are even crazier. We want to give you a free tuition. We want to give you free medical. We want to pay all your student loans off. We want to give reparations to the black people. We want to let the illegal immigrants come in here and get everything for free. Illegal immigrants. I'm not saying legal. Illegal immigrants. They want to open up the border so they can come over and get all stuff free. They do it in California. No, 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 no. no. So the cigar is starting up very nice. It's probably, a, for me, it's a mild to medium. It's got some nice, nice little spice in it. Um, smooth, creamy smoke, nice ash. Not much I can say, huh? What are you talking about, kid? Then you got these Tulsi Gabbard came out and uh, she's People are starting to look at her on the Democratic side, so they're coming out bashing her, calling her a Russian spy. She's a Russian agent, a Russian whatever. And it's because like, they don't have anybody on their side right now that can beat anybody. Weak. You got Cuckoo Elizabeth Warren. You got Crazy Bernie Sanders. You got uh, the, the other... Crazy guy, Beto O'Rourke, finally dropped out, who spoke to everybody in Spanish. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the hey, you know what? I'm gonna get the Spanish for I'm just gonna speak in Spanish. And no. That's not what you do. That's forced. It's forced. It's not even coming from your heart. I just don't understand how, what, what do celebrities do all day? I mean, do they sit home all day and just rant on Twitter about Trump? And I don't get it. I mean, of course, it's his playbook. He's he's sitting back laughing at them all. Look, <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> look what they wrote about me. Oh, they don't know. I just want peace. Peace. Stop picking on every word the man says so we can have peace. I don't care. Get somebody to run against him in 2020. That's all you gotta do. I saw the Joker movie. I thought it was well done. Finally. The Joker. Pre-Joker Joker. And, um... You know, some people are like, Oh, I like Heath Ledger. Because I'm, I'm a Joker. Uh, does that make you think I'm a good actor? Ah, uh, Joker. I mean, come on. I always thought that he... Not that it gets Heath Ledger. I met him once, um, and uh, seems like a nice guy. But I thought that whole Joker was so overacted. You know, Jared Leto was just a. That was just pure comic book. I mean, why would the Joker put ha 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 all over his chest and tattoos? The Joker doesn't know he's a Joker. It's like saying, you're doing things, if you're doing things uh, deliberately, he's, he's just crazy. But Joaquin Phoenix does an awesome job in producing him. And I really enjoyed the movie. I might go see it again. And that means I really liked it. I'm going to go, hopefully, uh, not go, but I'll wait for Netflix so I can see The Irishman. However... De Niro, who I have bought books on, I've read biographies on, I love the guy, I watched all his movies over and over, I bought his movies, and, and just the rhetoric that he's doing lately, just I can't, I can't get over it when I look at him now on the movie screens, all I see is this guy going, he's going to beat up Trump, I'm going to kick his ass, I'm an old man, I mean, come on, dude, leave that to the politicians, just go act, give people what they want. You made a career on it. So I'm going to smoke this for a little while. And then I'm going to come back and talk some more about it. Like a lot of woody notes. It's a Connecticut, so it's, you know, it's medium. But they do they do get a little bit of a Ecuadorian Connecticut, so it gets a little bit of spice in that uh, cigar. Okay? Okay. Very nice cigar. Really enjoying it. It's a really nice Connecticut. You know, a Connecticut with more than your average Connecticut. You know, it's it's one of the best Connecticut's out there. There's a there's a few that I really like, and this is one of my favorite Connecticut's because it's it's not just blah. It's really rich. Uh, a lot of wood notes, a little bit of sweetness. Um, the burn, it's, it's been burning, not going out. Uh, the ash has been nice and held nice. Um, the smoke, full creamy smoke. Really enjoyable cigar, I gotta say. I gotta say, what are you gonna do? You wanna say it? I'm gonna say it. So, um, LFD makes really nice cigars, really great reputation. 
Uh, my brother down there in Tampa, Florida, at uh, he's got a restaurant called uh, Little Italy's Family. And a Little Italy's uh, Italian Family Restaurant Catering over there in uh, Tampa, Chapel Hill, that area. You can find it. Uh, Lutz and Lutz, I think. Lutz, L-U-T-Z, Florida. Uh, get some good Italian food when you, you know, you're down there. Tell them a cigar assessor sent you. Maybe you'll get a free cannoli. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. Say the cigar assessor sent me. And uh, he says, uh, if I mention his name, he, he, I can get a free cannoli. And then you could have yourself a nice cigar. Because you know what? After a nice Italian dinner, a nice dessert like a cannoli or some tiramisu, or, you know, anything, chocolate cake or cookies or whatever, get yourself a nice uh, latte, espresso, have a cigar, and just look at the sky, because that's all you're going to do. You say to yourself, you know what? Life ain't so bad. Shut off the television, shut off the news, shut off all of the buffoon circus, and life will be okay, because you know what? If you don't see it, it doesn't affect you. Because the economy is doing well. The stock market, which is a Ponzi scheme, I understand that, is still breaking records. And all the doom, gloom and doom guys, oh, it's gonna crash, it's gonna crash, you're gonna hit a recession. Why do you even, don't why do you even worry about it? You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy life you have today. You wake up, you have tomorrow. You have a beautiful cigar. You get some beautiful food. You get some nice friends. Enjoy it. Like uh, last night at my lodge, you know, we had a uh, stated meeting and dinner. We have so many prospects. We have so many guys showing up to participate. It's a beautiful thing. And after the stated dinner, we go to the stated meeting, we come down, the prospects are still down there waiting for us all dressed in suit and ties. And we have some fellowship. We smoke some cigars and we have some drinks, whether it's soda or beer or whatever it is. And we sit and we have, we have fellowship and we laugh and have a good time. You walk in there, no mask, no mask. You don't have to act, you just be who you are and enjoy life. If you can find a lodge, like my lodge, North Hollywood Lodge, number 542, then you have struck gold, my friends, because I look forward to my Tuesday nights when I get to hang out to be a man, hang out with like-minded men, different races, different political backgrounds, straight, gay, different ethnicities, different religions, and we all sit there and we have a great time. It can be done. You don't have to join the pack because you're one thing and, uh, and you know, well, I'm a I'm a white guy, so I can only hang with white guys. No, you hang with diverse groups. You learn a lot about culture. You learn a lot about everything. And it's really nice because nobody's there looking for anything, looking for handouts. Because if you're looking for handouts, get out. So I'm going to finish this cigar up. I got some work to do before I close shop. And let me tell you something, one other thing I can't stress more, especially in California. If you like going to cigar lounges and you like to be able to go and smoke a cigar in a lounge, support your local brick and mortar stores. Go in and buy some cigars. I know that's going to be more money than you can get them online, but if you keep buying them online, the shops are going to start closing and you're gonna have nowhere to shop, nowhere to smoke. You're just gonna have to go online and sit in your backyard until 
the uh, anti-smoking police come and say, just want to let you know that they just passed legislation and you're not supposed to be smoking in your own yard. Cigars are bad. Bad. I mean, they just, in LA, they just passed no more flavored tobacco as of October 31st. It's like that. So, you know, you're a store owner and you have, you just made a big order of all these assets and these uh, Javas and all the other lines. And now what do you do with them? You can't sell them. What do you do? And especially if you don't smoke them. Craziness in a country that is built on freedom. Freedom of speech. Freedom. Anyway, until next time, I enjoyed my cigar and I enjoyed speaking with you. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And what is better than it? Having a beautiful cigar with friends on a beautiful night while everything is just peaceful. Nothing! Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.